today. Oh, look at this. There's a harbour down there. Let's find a spot of gold. Yeah. So if you wanted to know the glamorous side of field work, it's this. It's a messy table, chocolate, coffee. Just been setting everything up today, ready for the deployment tomorrow. Here is where the magic happens, and we've been setting up equipment all day. Our equipment ready to go, all our audio moths and our big sound traps. And that's where we're going to be tomorrow, deploying all of our equipment. So we just put the first mooring down just off the harbour wall, um, and we've actually already got some humpback dolphins, so they've come out and Geese can take some photo ID for us. Surfacing 50 degrees, 60 meters from the boat, one individual surface. Tangled mess. Okay, now. Right with me. Do nothing out there. <laughs> He's thinking about a lot of nothing. Gives you a lot of time to think. Sasha, do you want to tell us what you're looking at here? The wide open ocean. No dolphins. We're looking at dolphins at the moment. Harbour through our set. So personally, I quite like just looking out at the sea and not doing very much other than looking. In a light drizzle. <laughs> In a light drizzle. I love a drizzle. Not it reminds me of home, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Yeah. It's grey. It's quite pretty. Oh, are you doing it now? No. <laughs> We're just taking photographs of the colony just to see um, if there's any animals that might Shangi, tell me how long have you been off the water for? Off the water, like 10 minutes, <laughs> maybe seven and a half. Do you want to tell me what's in the background here? Uh, dolphins. Bottom nose dolphins. Yeah, probably bottom nose dolphins. 
at the same spot we have been like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? Uh, happy with the coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty bummed out. <laughs> The harsh realities of field work. Guy and Sasha are watching their dolphins in the background. We've just come off the boat. And there they are, jumping around, feeding. Spotted humpback dolphins. <laughs> Sasha, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> From the balcony. So over it. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. We've not even had our eggs yet. <laughs> and back we go. Oh, six humpback dolphins, and probably there was about 15 or so bottlenose, so we are headed back out again. <clears throat> yeah. What are you waiting on, Sasha? Dolphins. What time do you think they're going to come, Guy? Ten minutes. Ten minutes from now. Sasha? So we just saw them from the balcony at the point. So we race down here to try and find them. And they're not here. But they might just be around the corner. So... Can't rush a dolphin, can't can you? Can't rush a dolphin. Can't rush a humpback dolphin. No. So Dolphins have given us a bit of a run around. We've crossed a Take large time. part of Bossel Bay looking for them. We've found them in this area here and they are just milling about. We can't get close enough for photos, so we will go and buy some buckets instead. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's another day. Don't think it was brilliant. <laughs> Mr. Desi. <clears throat> what do you think of your new friend? He's looking the wrong way. A couple of meters, a couple of calves as well, coming straight across the bow now. Um, levels are good. The calf definitely moving just in front of the boat now. The bow moving in front of the boat, boat about five to seven meters past the bow. And is ranging in about 70 meters. Traveling in front of the boat. Tail snap. Yes. The best part is looking at the data. All these lovely whistles and burst pulses. Mm. We have a big group of bottlenose dolphins today and we're just yeah checking through the recordings. Uh, the Indian Ocean bottlenose dolphin, really similar to what we've seen in other places and so nice how it's on all beautifully on all the different microphones. Oh this is lovely. Like is hilarious face. <laughs> We spotted them in the middle of the bay, so we raced out on the boat. Obviously they moved on, so we weren't able to catch them in time. We're now going to check on some of our moorings, and then also uh, look for some humpback dolphins, which is what we're actually here for. Um, the wind is picking up, the swell is picking up. You can see it's a bit of a bumpy ride, but uh, we're here getting the good weather before it gets windy tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha 
there's a nice little group of fish there. Just inside the river. Tess? Yeah. Why we are not looking why there's no dolphins today? <laughs> why are we looking for dolphins? We're looking for sharks! Hammerheads! We're not supposed to be doing that. We get, lots of hammer, we get lots of baby hammerheads coming through um, in the like the summer months and the warmer months. Um, so it's quite unusual to still be getting them this time of year. It means the water is quite warm still. We also have some blue bottles and stuff, so they must have come in on the, the strong easterly we had yesterday. Um, and I'm just saying to the guys that they don't fare very well when you do catch them, so um, they're quite strongly protected here in Bossel Bay at the moment. So leave them in the sea. So leave them in the sea and try not to target them, please. <laughs> They're a bit scared of the boat. Drunk. It's 7.02. I'm not even going to show my face because I'm so tired. <laughs> and geese found dolphins already. Which obviously is wonderful. <laughs> Where are they? They're right there in the waves. That's how I look. <laughs> oh my God. It's too early. Dolphins are out there. You won't see it on the video, I don't suppose. They're having a great time jumping around in the choppy, swelly sea. Gee, what are we doing? Looking for dolphins from the harbour wall. Shh. As you were saying, Gee. I was saying we are looking for dolphins, but apparently no dolphins are in the area. It's windy today as well. It's really windy. It's, we can't do any like just general surveys. So we've come around the corner from the harbour uh, where they actually do tend to hang out by the restaurants and the slipways um, and we're just waiting for them. Maybe we've got some kayaks on the go in case we can't get out on the boat as this wind picks up. But yeah, it's uh, not the best weather day but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work, aren't we, Guy? We're heading out. Hoping to Anyhow, find those. Just spotted humpback dolphins. Let's get them. So Sasha and Gee saw two humpback dolphins here about half an hour ago. Cheers, putting everything together. We're done. Um, worst weather day we've had so far, but hopefully we can find these humpback dolphins. All done. Fast action response team. That's that's fart. Um, if anybody was wondering, me where just farting. Hopefully they're there somewhere. Our patience paid off. We found our humpback dolphins and there's more than two, so that's good. Woohoo! All right, unfortunately they are going into that chop. We'll see. Oh wow! Oi, that's some nice weather. <laughs> Coming up, oh my goodness me. Tiny, tiny baby. Not great for acoustics, but we're just gonna try and get these pictures. <gasps> My goodness me. Okay, still there at two o'clock, coming up now. Tiny, tiny baby. This is so good. Oh my goodness. So 
Okay, that's the one we saw the other. Oh my oh goodness my me. Oh my gosh. Coming up. <gasps> Does it even look like a humpback dolphin? It's got the, oh my goodness, the folds on it. Geese just checking the photos, hopefully. We've got some good pickies there. So I do the animals and also that new, new, new baby. What's happening? Uh, I have no words actually. We just found uh, in the photos a uh, very tiny common dolphin with so we thought the it was group a of the humpback dolphin. So we thought it was a baby humpback dolphin. Um, we thought one of the individuals we saw last last week had given birth perhaps in the few days since you've seen the group, um, which we thought was it quite a surprise enough. Then we look through the photos now and it's not a humpback dolphin at all, it's a baby bo uh, common dolphin. So we're thinking, where on earth has a common dolphin come from? Every day the sun comes up. <laughs> Just wait for the boat to do some very fancy reversing well, maneuvers. <laughs> what do you look at, Sasha? Fish in the sea. With fins. So we just spotted humpback dolphins. We are going to deploy the hydrophones and making photo ID. Surfacing. So for our recording setup, this is really cool because we've got one humpback dolphin uh, about 50 meters on our uh, port side and we've got a second one about 150 meters in the distance there. So um, if they are pally and trying to chat to each other, then they may uh, call out and that's really what we're, we're trying to record here. So, so hopefully some of our detailed observations will pay off um, and, they'll, and they'll be whistling to each other. A good shark. I think that's another one. And another. And another. And another. And another one. And another. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. It's a white shark. Seriously, we should be doing shark research. We've had literally... Shark! Shark! It's Sasha in her office. <laughs> it's a hard day in the office today. So we're back at home and we're looking through our data. 
We're a little bit disappointed. Um, our camera was on multi-point focus and ideally it wouldn't have been. So we're a little bit sad about that. Um, and also the animals were quite far away. So we're having a look. We'll get there. Not a reef. Not a reef. <laughs> How's the data? Um, let's say we are always learning something. <laughs> we learn about the multifocus today, but at least we have some dorsal fins to identify. And I think they are probably not the same individuals we spotted in, in both encounters. Let's take a look. Hey, Sasha, coming in, Sasha, calling Sasha. What did you find today? Um, not a whole lot. We've got some clicks. We've also got a lot of reef noise um, and some chain that was just making a racket. Echolocation, so we know the dolphins were there at least, but... Uh, the dolphins were definitely there. Not that chatty today. <laughs> the sad face for a PhD student who's recorded just lots of echolocation clicks and not much else. Sorry to all the echolocation scientists. I'm going to change my PhD to clicks and humpback dolphins. Oh, you get loads of data. Look at that, brilliant. Early, early morning workout. <laughs> he makes me nervous when he does this. He goes. Stunning morning there. The coffee's on the go this morning. We're ready. Oh my goodness me. The injection of coffee that's needed is quite severe. Hello. Hello, camera. <laughs> What's going on your form? Um, so the time is 07.23. We're setting up. Date is 26. Sharks, uh, today not so much. The water's a little bit harder to see through, the seals ahead of us, but nothing, no shark eats that we can spot today. We've just spotted a group of dolphins uh, coming into the bay here, so we've turned around and we're gonna head towards them. And we are quickly, quickly putting all of the hydrophones together. Sure. Yes, just at uh, one o'clock there, just behind. There is lots and lots of whistling echolocation. Nice big group of bottlenose dolphins. Woo! A little bit of social activity on the front here. So we're just moving um, well ahead of these animals to reposition the boat. And then we will um, stop and, and turn our engines off and wait for them to come past us. So we're giving them a wide berth now, uh, but we've got a really big group, uh, probably over a hundred animals here. So that's great. Uh, bottlenose dolphins. So basically as far as we can see, there are bottlenose dolphins. That is a very big, big group. Don't, don't enter that box. Just don't enter the box, okay? Oh, really? 
Yeah, I mean, I know you wanted to empty into this box. Damn it, my plan, I brought it. <laughs> And you've got your box wine. <laughs> I know, but it's only. It's eight thirty in the morning. <laughs> a wall to look for um, back dolphins. We're all feeling a little slow today, so I was up until after twelve writing a grant application, and uh, Sasha and Guy were doing a lot of the social media side of things. So um, that's the realities of it, though. Just keep going. Keep looking for dolphins. We're just wondering if you saw any dolphins today. Are they over there? Bottle noses. Should we go to see for bottlenoses? It's a good question. We're not sure either. What do you think, Guy? Looking for a megapod. No, it's usually best here. It's very pretty. Away, yeah. Sasha, yeah. so, what's happening? Look at the dolphins. The weather's a lot nicer than we thought it was going to be. No dolphins. They were not out of sea. But like, there's no dolphins. I'm not going <laughs> to. It's a discussion we've had all morning. Do we go? Do we not go? Should I stay or should I go? We've had a multi-species uh, morning though. We had some dassies. Uh, yeah, I saw some oysters. Didn't see any oysters. We saw oysters well, dangling. Oysters. Yeah. 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 And some pigeons. Pigeons. It's been a bit of a species morning, hasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Looking at the weather. Checking the weather. That's how I do these days. Check the weather. Yeah, my first thing tomorrow is meant to be quite nice. There is something about being off the water on a day like this, when it looks beautiful. It makes it really hard to appreciate how beautiful it is because you feel like you should be on the water doing science. Um, not just appreciating the view. There is some rain. Oh. It's almost like a relief in your voice. Oh, oh, oh my God, the forecast was correct. It's raining, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. There's no way we could have worked in this awful conditions. Um, it's just two weeks away and constantly thinking, could we get more from the data? Could we get more? Should we be doing more? How to maximize money, how to maximize time. It is um, a good use of your time. Drinking coffee and watching the sea is a good use, but it's a, sort of on a knife edge. You can't really relax thoroughly. We were, like actually, we? we were saying that, like, you know, it looks easy sitting and watching the ocean with dolphins, sitting on a boat watching dolphins, but actually, you're not relaxed. You're like on, like, you know, there's a responsibility on you to find dolphins. And, and particularly for your PhD, I remember when I was doing yeah. my PhD work constantly feeling on edge what's the next thing that can go wrong have i have i charged the batteries is the but equipment working for example right now we're very keen to go out with the uh, audio mode <laughs> and try to get some recordings of the reef or the seals just so happens to be on right the just like maximizing the data you could get and time and, yeah and mental, um... so yeah 
it's absolutely wonderful to be here but um the realities are that you're also constantly reminded that you need to be working um and and it is a saturday but that doesn't matter it doesn't matter does it <laughs> saturday what it is matter no <laughs> No man, um, and I think I've been working until 10, 11 o'clock every night this week. And yesterday? Yeah, well, 12 o'clock. <laughs> Sasha abides by her bedtime reminder and that's why she looks so refreshed and beautiful. <laughs> the cry of seal or dolphin, but that, that's a nice little pot of dolphins right there behind the surfers. What time? Now. Okay, ten. Ooh! Nice leaps there. Probably about 50 bottlenose dolphins. Blooming, eh? Some back flipping there. Whoa! There's dolphins there. And all the way as far as you can see to behind Sasha. A big, massive parade. Yesterday we thought we had about 300 animals, I'd say. Probably the same group. Beautiful. There are hundreds and hundreds of bottlenose sources here. So you got the photo ID shots, did you, Guy? Yeah. All of them. I thought we were going to have like five encounters over the three weeks. Um, yeah, I'm very, very surprised. We have dolphins nearly sighted every day in Muscle Bay. So. And this big group, it's hundreds and hundreds of dolphins here. And yeah, I think we're lucky to have the same big group of bottlenose dolphins here every day. I think there's a lot of fish in the bay at the moment. Yeah. So though this isn't our key species, we're here for humpback dolphins. We can use uh, any data we get on bottlenose dolphins uh, for our species classifiers. And um, also uh, for another project which we've got going on, uh, run by Rachel Probert for her PhD, to look at uh, geographic differences in bottlenose dolphin whistles and also signature whistle use. So, we are really lucky to have this massive uh, group of bottlenose dolphins here and we will um, enjoy it and then we'll go out tomorrow looking for both these and the humpback dolphins. Where are we looking? <laughs>
So it's possible we saw an orca. We rushed out of the house. It's pretty choppy weather out there, has to be said. We've run out because Sasha and Guy saw a very big dorsal fin that they think could be an orca. Never left the building so quickly, have we? on Orca Watch. They're all over this. So hopeful we might find some killer whales out there. But it doesn't feel like 10 individuals. I was actually looking at the guy surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Very good waves. But... <laughs> when we say 10, it's like 10 or a thousand, Ten. you know. <laughs> Could be more coming, who knows. is just coming out. Stunning. We're down by the dock. Surface, a little bit less great for us. Remember when the silence grew so big it pushed the holes straight through the sky. The ground beneath us caved in every time. So God, hear you cry. Yesterday we had hundreds of dolphins riding in there. Today we're not even <laughs> going to Yeah. We didn't mean the stuff we said in bed that broke the line. I just got foam in the face. Dolphins are hiding in this corner. Favourite hangout. Come back, Dolphin. That's our hiding place. Yellow bird. Still there. That's Seal Island in the background. Stinky, stinky seals today. I quite like the smell of seal though. Feel the sun in days, caress our skin. We begin to fall. All the white was fading out to the void of everything we've done. We always make mistakes, but I'm not just where we began.
<laughs> for sure the biggest white shark I've ever seen. Dude, the, the biggest one you saw yesterday was a, was a meter and a half. So. <laughs> and then you said it was the only white shark you'd ever seen. But if this is two and a half to three meters, I'm expecting something pretty big. And now what? Okay, now we just have a little shock. Sort of just hold now, we'll tie it out a little bit. I'm just gonna get a little closer to it because there's still quite a bit of line. Um, so we're gonna forward and forward. It might snap if it snaps, it snaps. At least it's better than having that amount of line. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge, I mean, how many how many meters of line? Hundreds? Four, five, three, four hundred meters here. Wow. Okay, on the start, guys. Do a great job, Sash. <laughs> He's gone. It snapped off. Yeah. It snapped just behind the leader, so it's going to have a three meter steel trace behind it now. So you're trying to use, so yeah, trying to get it as close as possible, but at least you got that off. Yeah. Jesus. That is a huge amount. 900 meters of line just pulled in from that white shark. Oh, boy. Trailing oh. behind the animal. And it was tired as well. <laughs> but great white sharks, humpback dolphins. But it's all the shark wrestling, and, it's not easy, is it? And great white caps. And great white caps, oh dear. Just back at the ranch looking through our data from today. We only had a very, felt like a short recording period. But um, it's quality, not quantity, right, Sasha and Guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we made a breakthrough on Tessa's last day with us. Same whistle repeated several times, likely signature whistle. One individual was being very, very vocal in the group. And there was a humpback baby calf with the group. So it could very well have been mummy calling out to baby not to leave its side. <laughs> yeah. so oh, the photo of the day, just some sort of blurry dolphin. Oh, just this one's good. That one's yeah. good. We're critiquing my work, but I feel like Gee could have probably done a better job today. Never mind. Gee's trying to make us all vomit, but in doing this, <laughs> we can see that the animal we saw today, which is this animal, ah, is this animal? Is that animal? Yeah, the same they're all the same animal. So basically, this is 10 years apart. So that's a reciting. Same animal over 10 years. And did this have the calf? This one had the calf. So that's probably the whistle mm. that we have. That one was the one that was whistling. It's a wrap. The time is 11 o'clock. We've been here for... Two hours. No. Three hours. Four hours. Four hours. Since 7.30. Oh, so three and a half hours we've been here. No dolphins. That's it. That's the update. Nothing more. I'll check in in another three hours. So we have come down to the harbour. It is early. The sun has just come up and we are looking for dolphins. Um, the dolphins have been hanging around in this like harbour corner area a lot. So the plan of the action this week is to hang by the harbour wall, wait for them to turn up and then hop on the boat which is around the corner and then sit in the water and record them. That's the plan. just got to the point and we literally just saw a whale come up to the surface 
So Guy is on it with trying to get a photo ID to confirm the species. So today it's heading into all about the whales. So we've just left the two Brutus whales up by St. Blaise Caves. We now come down to Beacon Wharf because there's a couple of other whales that are headed into the bay. So we're trying to catch up with them. And we have spotted one. As soon as we got out of the car, we came down and uh, there was a blow. So we're just trying to spot it from land here. These on the camera duties, concentrating hard. So you can see as well actually the weather conditions today. The swell is just glistening and lovely now, but actually there's a swell. You can see the white water. It's not very nice out there. The whales seem to be enjoying it. Okay, time to drive to the point and see if we can catch up with them there. Um, because we seem to have lost that beacon wharf. Seems like trying to follow a whale is a little bit harder than a land dolphin. Day. Land day, land day, but it's still a station day. No dolphins. There was a lot of Brutus whales, three, possibly four individuals. But now we're back, and this is also peak time for dolphins. So let's see if we get any. Our little friend's back. He was just in here a second ago. So it's now half past nine at night and we are still doing some data. We didn't go on the water today. Um, as you can see from today's videos, we just found some whales, um, but we were looking for dolphins for eight hours a day. Um, not one sighting. Um, so we've just been spending the afternoon and the evening doing some data, um, catching up on some bits, going through the recordings from our humpback dolphins the other day. Um, and also we've been catching up on the common dolphin calf. So you might see the update from that, from the sea search group coming out soon. Um, the main thing we've been trying to do is work out localization. So we've had the four hydrophones in the boat and we're trying to localize by using multiple hydrophones, whereabouts the whistles are coming from, what group, what side, what area. It's too late to explain it right now, but that's the gist. So, I'm gonna go over to Gee right now because we have been pulling out our whistles um, and our bearings from our vocal notes, but I don't, I can't even hold the camera straight, it's so late. <laughs> but it's not really working first try. Yeah, we did our best and at least combining the, um, the results from the localization and the vocal notes we actually didn't come from the same result. <laughs> but we are trying to improve and hopefully going to get it sorted soon. <laughs> back at the harbour wall the next day um, still looking for dolphins Guy is currently out taking photographs of birds um, getting his camera fix um, but yeah we'll keep you updated today we didn't see any dolphins yesterday so fingers crossed we do see some today 
the big things with field work is that you're always constantly on. There's always more you could be doing. There's always more data you could be collecting, analyzing. It's a really focused period where there's really no respite, you know, it's, there's no working hours. You're constantly trying to get that data and make the most of your time here. It's, it's a high pressure environment, but always fun, but there's definitely um, both sides of field work. The amazing boat days and the encounters you have with animals, but there's also the long nights. So I think it's important to show both sides. We just spotted them at Mooring One. Um, we just raced round the corner onto the boat. Gee is feeding himself. We're all set up. Uh, Justin's just on his way now and we're gonna hopefully catch up with them. Hopefully they were moving past the mooring towards the point, which is a little bit worrying because that's where the big swell is. Look how the swell is. <laughs> Look how the swell. Have you see them? No, I just saw something come out of the water. Mm -hmm. it's right where the swell is like breaking. So awesome conditions today and this is probably going to be our last guaranteed day in the water so we are fingers crossed for an abundance of marine life today we've got the coffee we've got the breakfast and perfect condition absolutely gorgeous 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 We've been on search for about two hours and we've just watched the dolphins but they are right by Heart and Boss, right by the reef, right by the swell. So geese trying to take some photographs a little bit further away and then we'll try and get some acoustics. Um, hopefully they stop travelling and do some other behaviours. But yeah, not the best location for stopping the boat. Then the swell. about 12 o'clock and 50 meters ahead of the boat moving still towards the shallows where individual one is individual one just surfaced at 11 o'clock um, very much in the breakers about 60 meters ahead of the boat
um, retrieval of our moorings yesterday. Um, we are heading back to Cape Town today, so we got five out of eight out yesterday. Heading back to Cape Town and then we're going to come back next week to get the last couple of hydrophones out of the water. We're going to need some divers and things like that because they were a little bit stuck in the water um, under the sand. But luckily we got five out of the eight back, easy peasy, and now look at the car. We've packed up and we are ready and raring to go. 